when I am graphing a compound inequality, I'm graphing two simple inequalities combined with the word and or or. I would say that the or compound inequality graphs are a little more straightforward, so let's start there. When I look at this compound inequality, x is less than 1, or x is greater than or equal to 4, I'm looking at the set of numbers that are either less than 1 or greater than or equal to 4, and not both. So 0, negative 3, negative 1,000, a half, those are all numbers less than 1, but they are not greater than or equal to 4. The numbers 5, 6, 10, 1,000, 4 are greater than or equal to 4, but not less than 1. And all of those numbers would be solutions to this compound inequality because to be in the solution set, the number needs to either be less than 1 or greater than or equal to 4, and not both. When we graph that solution set, we're graphing, we can look at the graph of x is less than 1 first. So open dot at 1, because there's no equal sign, so 1 is not part of the solution set. Arrow to the left, because we're looking at the numbers less than 1. The graph of x is greater than or equal to 4, we have a closed dot since there is an equal sign and an arrow to the right since we're looking at the numbers greater than or equal to 4. Now solutions to the compound, as I said earlier, are either in this region less than 1 or in this region greater than or equal to 4. So the graph of this compound inequality is simply the graph of x is less than 1, the graph of x is greater than or equal to 4, on the same number line. And this represents the solution set. The numbers that are either less than 1, so every point in this region, or greater than or equal to 4. This is my final graph of x is less than 1 or greater, or x is greater than or equal to 4. And is a little bit more complicated. First we need to realize this notation signifies the compound inequality x is greater than 1 and x is less than or equal to 4. So this left-hand side 1 is less than x is equivalent to x is greater than 1 and x is less than or equal to 4. We can again look at the two simple inequalities that make up this compound inequality. So x is greater than 1, open dot at 1, arrow to the right because we're looking at all the numbers greater than 1 x is less than or equal to 4, close dot at 4, arrow to the left because we're looking at all the numbers less than or equal to 4, close dot again because of that equal sign. Now I can start by graphing both inequalities on one number line. So x is greater than 1 and x is less than or equal to 4, so close dot arrow. The issue here, and the reason that I'm using two different colors, is that this whole graph is not the graph to x is greater than 1 and x is less than or equal to 4. That is because of a few, two different regions. So this region right here in green, these points to, that are less than 1 are less than or equal to 4, but they are not greater than 1. So this region right here is not part of the solution set. They do satisfy x is less than or equal to 4. They're part of the graph of x is less than or equal to 4. But they are not greater than 1. And to satisfy this inequality, numbers both need to be greater than 1 and less than or equal to 4. Points in this region, the greater than 4 region, are also not part of the solution. They satisfy x is greater than 1. They're part of this uh, purple graph. But they are not less than or equal to 4. So these orange regions are not part of the graph. They're not part of the solution set of 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. So some students do graph the two graphs on, um, the two simple inequality graphs onto one number line and then erase the non-overlapping region or use a different color to indicate the overlapping region. But most students just directly graph the compound inequality from the initial statement. So x is greater than 1. We have an open dot because 1 is not part of the solution set. And then close dot at 4 because that is the biggest possible value. x is less than or equal to 4. And then this is the graph, the area in between those two numbers, not including 1, but including 4. 
So this is the graph of the compound inequality. 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. Again, it is the overlapping region of the two simple inequalities. Practicing down here, most students looking at this inequality will simply graph open dot at negative 3, open circle at 1, and then connect those two endpoints with the solution region. That's my graph. These are the numbers that are both greater than negative 3 and less than 1. So negative 3 is not in that solution. Any number less than negative 3 is not in that solution set. 1 is not in that solution set, and any number greater than 1 is not. So this is all the numbers between negative 3 and 1, not including those two values since there's no equal sign. The or inequality we simply graph separately. Negative 3, open dot, x is less than negative 3, or x is greater than 1, open dot at, open circle at 1, and greater than 1.